So I came across this video. Daniel Craft redesigned some game icons in Blender. One of those games was Minecraft. I really liked his design of the Minecraft block, so I thought I'd recreate it for myself. This is how I did it. I've provided the textures that I used for this in the description. You can download that if you want. Unzip those textures into a folder, as we'll use them later. We're going to start by deleting the default cube, and then add a new one. Go into Edit Mode, select all of the faces, and then unwrap by pressing U and then click on Cube Projection. It would also be handy to switch to Face Selection in the top left. I hate UV mapping, so I'm just going to use two materials instead. Make a new material for the cube and press the plus button to add a new material. Select the top face of the cube and press a sign for the second material. In the shader editor with the first material selected, I'm going to bring in the side texture and connect it to the base color and subsurface color. Set the subsurface value to 0.05. Now if we go into material preview, we can see that the texture is very blurry. If you set the node to closest, that'll clear it up. Do the same process for the material on the top of the cube, but use the grass top texture. Back in edit mode with all the faces selected, we're going to subdivide the cube by 15. Press Ctrl E and click Edge Split. Open up the UV window, select all of the faces, and scale them down using individual origins. Now this is the fun part. Deselect the entire cube and start selecting any faces of the cube that make up the grass texture. I box selected the top of the cube and manually selected the sides. Once you've selected all of the grass pixels, go up to Select and click Select Random. In the tool that's just popped up, switch Select to Deselect. Now adjust the percentage. I like to start at around 20% for the grass. Now that you have some faces deselected, press Alt-E and extrude on individual faces. I extruded by a value of 0.02 for the grass. Go back up and click on Select Random again. Raise the percentage and adjust the random seed until you like it. Press Alt-E and extrude individual faces again. Keep doing this cycle until you are happy with the grass design. If you want to adjust any faces by yourself, you are free to do so. Just click on any face and press E to extrude it to where you want it to be. Now we're going to deselect everything and select the dirt pixels. Again, we're going to use the same strategy of deselecting random faces and extruding them. For the dirt, I extruded by a value of 0.01. Once you're happy with the shape of your cube, you can set up the camera. I reset the rotation of the camera with Alt-R. Rotating the camera 45 degrees on the z-axis and 65 degrees on the local x-axis put the camera at a perfect orthographic angle. Just adjust the position of the camera and its orthographic scale to fill the frame. In the View Layer Properties panel, enable the denoising data. Open the compositing workspace and add a denoising node. Connect the denoising data into the denoising node and then add the output. Because we're using the denoiser, 32 samples are enough for this render. I set the material preview to use scene lights and the scene world. That allowed me to adjust the lighting with the sun lamps so I could get a live preview of what the render might look like. Also under film, check the box for transparency. In the end, I think this looks pretty cool and could make for some really cool wallpapers. I hope this tutorial was pretty helpful and informative. If you want to send me anything that you make, I'm open on Discord and on Twitter.